Hello there. Do you have a 996 911? Do you have a 997 911? Do you have a 987 Cayman? Do you have a 986 Boxster? If so, your car suffers from the same thing that my car does, which is insufficient oiling under sustained higher G corners. Today, we're going to do a little bit of a countermeasure to fix that on my car. Stay tuned. Okay, so just a little bit of an overview. The stock oil pan and baffle on the 996 generation 911 is a fairly insufficient system. So it is prone to allowing the oil to slosh away from the pickup during sustained higher G corners, which can then cause oil starvation from your pickup. And then finally cause engine failure when you have, I don't know why I just pointed to my car. I really hope my, <laughs> I didn't just have an engine failure. Typically, on like an on-road situation, this is not a problem. People can drive as hard as they want to, just about, uh, and not see significant oil starvation issues. Mostly, um, the oil starvation issue occurs in an on-track situation. And while this does sound very scary, fortunately, uh, there are a lot of things that are out there that are countermeasures for this issue. One of the main items, and the thing that we're gonna be doing today, is applying one of the uh, deeper sump kits, of which there are many out on the market. So what this does is basically increases the oil capacity slightly, and it also drops the uh, pickup tube slightly as well, so that your um, so there's more oil in the sump, so that when it all sloshes, you have more oil that is you know staying in the vicinity of the pickup for longer. So I will show you all of the new goodies in a second here, but first uh, let's get the old one off the car so that we can do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison with the two. All right, now here is our sump here, as you can see. Uh, I went ahead and drained the oil just so I didn't bore you guys with that process. Um, and then the sump is held on by a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts that have to come down. Um, and it's also held on by um, Loctite 5900, which you will need when you like before you take this back down for reinstallation of the new sump, you do need Loctite 5900. So I'm going to break them free by hand. All right, now once all of your bolts are removed, um, there are a couple pry points. So you can gently, note gently, if this is aluminum, you don't wanna go nuts on this thing, but you can gently pry this down and out of the way. Okay, and just like that, we have the sump down, as you saw. Um, so here's your pickup. Here you can see up into the rotating assembly a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, you can't really see much, but that's it. Um, and then these are the oil return tubes. Uh, these are actually or M97 specification. They were applied to the 997, 987 generation cars. Um, we'll touch on that a little bit more later. Basically, uh, they are higher flow. And so that's a, yet another countermeasure that uh, people apply to help with this oil starvation issue. You know, you can get more oil back to your sump, therefore you kind of help your case as far as uh, starvation goes. So I, I did apply these over the winter when I had the engine out. So, and then this is your dipstick. And this is the oil level sensor slash temperature sensor, I believe. I think that also detects temperature. But anyway, so the new sump, uh, instead of being flush with this, it'll be it'll drop down slightly, and not not a whole lot. I didn't really apply. I didn't want to apply the one that um, Ellen Engineering makes. It's a fantastic product, but it hangs a little bit too low for my taste, and uh, I felt kind of uncomfortable applying such a sump. You know, considering I drive this car on the street all the time, I didn't want to catch it on, you know, a railroad crossing or something driveway curb, what have you. The sump that I got will drop down maybe, I don't know, another three three quarters of an inch deeper than the stock one. There's a uh, equal sized um, shim, basically, to drop the 
pickup tube down that additional um, depth as well. All right, let's do a little bit of comparison here. All right, now let's talk Porsche oiling system things. By the way, this is the Loctite 5900 that I was referring to earlier. This is what you need to seal up this flange when you reinstall it. There is no gasket for it. This is the gasket. So we've got a cool side-by-side -side comparison going on here. This is obviously the old one that we just took down out of the car, and this is our brand new one. This one is, just so you know, um, made by FVD Brombacher. I really like the idea of this one uh, for several reasons, um, but the main one being that uh, it comes with the X51 baffle, and we'll talk more about that in a second. So right off the bat, you can see that the stock sump is, um, you know, just shallow here, as opposed to uh, this new uh, new design. You can see it's much deeper, um, and actually the flange still mates up at the um, stock thickness so we'll use this the original bolts to to mount up the, the, this new one here but it's supposed to add about uh, 0.6 additional quarts uh, to the system uh, it also um, provides this uh, or comes with the x51 uh, designed baffle and if you're not familiar with the x51 basically it's a higher performance package um, that you could option onto your 911. The X51, obviously being that it's more performance oriented, does come with, and this isn't exactly the Porsche baffle, it's just one, it's mock, It's a mock-up of that design um, and as opposed to having this design. And so one of the main differences is it has um, these blockers. So what that allows is, you know, when, when you're under a high G cornering situation, the oil uh, kind of prevents, or you know, it, it stops the oil from sloshing around the baffle and flowing over to either side. Um, and instead, it kind of keeps the oil, keeps more of the oil on either side of the baffle and forces it to go through the baffle this way. In addition to that, uh, so it, this one does have the rubber um, stops. Uh, the Ellen Engineering one has, has metal, um, and honestly, I don't know that there's that big of a difference between the metal and the rubber. I'm sure they would tell you otherwise, but when you look at the Ellen engineering one, like when you look at how they seal right here, um, it honestly does not seal that well. So, and I, this is kind of one of those things where I'm pretty okay with the, the stock design, the stock intent. So the original ones are these kind of rubber pieces here. And of course, over time, these rubber ones do kind of age and get a little bit flimsy. It'll be nice to kind of refresh the little rubber gates there with uh, with some fresh one. That's the primary difference between the uh, stock baffle and the one that I just purchased. So more oil capacity for less, you know, starvation potential and the better uh, X51 baffle. I mentioned the oil return tubes. Uh, I took the one out of my car just so I could show you a little more easily. This is the M97 design. The uh, it was in the 987 and 997 cars. This is the 996 design, the M96. Um, and basically it's, it's intended to be an air oil separator. So as the oil comes back up, it comes in here and separates out. And I think it can get released up top here, but um, I think the majority of it comes out at the bottom. Basically this has a lot more back pressure. This design is basically known to just be a higher flow um, solution. They obviously went to this after applying this and realized that maybe this one wasn't so great. And this one bolts up right in its place. So definitely would recommend uh, upgrading to this design if you haven't already on your car. More oil flowing back to your sump is never a bad thing. I mentioned the shim for the pickup, that is this. Um, so that will go like this uh, on the oil pickup to drop it further um, with the deeper sump. So anyway, that's the old versus new uh, hardware comparison. Uh, now it is time to prep the car to get everything back up and in it. Uh, so what you want to do when you're um, applying this Loctite, you get a fairly small hole cut. Of course underneath here you want to have as big of a hole cut as possible as you can see. Uh, if you don't then you're gonna wear yourself out because uh, this stuff is thick. So Get it. See now you can get pushed up in the tube pretty easily with the big hole. 
and then this small hole will kind of be nice so you can control your bead going around here as well as possible. But we're going to put a bead around the whole edge and then we're going to be on the inside of all of the uh, all of the screw holes so that it's a uh, continuous um, continuous gasket effectively. So all right, let's get to it. Before we put it up in the car, I just want to say one thing. Uh, I did take some brake clean and clean up uh, as best as I could. You do not want brake clean up near the rotating assembly, um, <laughs> obviously. Basically, you want to keep all of, the, all of those components as well oiled as possible. So don't spray directly, don't spray brake clean directly up in there. Now you can do it like along this edge, but make sure you're not spraying directly up into that area. Now this kit, and you can see these, these rubber sections on this baffle, uh, this thing fits very tightly. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's like a perfect fit. Take your time with it when you're putting this thing in. You don't, uh, definitely don't want to be forcing it. These bolts get torqued down to 10 newton meters. So now all we have to do is put our drain plug back in, put a new oil filter back in, and then we will refill the car with oil. All right, everybody, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed that content. As you saw, it's a very easy little project and has a huge benefit to your car's uh, oiling performance. Um, and now, you know, having done something like that, I can now um, comfortably take my car on the track and not be stressed out under uh, higher load sustained corners with that thank you guys so much for tuning into fun ahead tv where we will be working on many more projects such as this in the future so if you enjoyed this video please do me a huge favor and hit that like button it really helps out this channel a lot and i would appreciate it very much um, and also subscribe if you want to see more like more stuff like this in the future so thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next video